Catherine. Hi, Van and Catherine. I, some of my best memories of Van and Catherine, um, I love their sense of humor. Uh, Catherine, she's a total nut, uh, cut up, and I love that about her. Uh, Van's the same way, got a great sense of humor. Uh, they're wonderful to be around. They can be, they're very down to earth. The, one of the first things that I loved about them is how down to earth they were, about how relatable they were. Um, and the fact that Van was always full of encouragement early on in my walk. There were several, it's really hard to, to put my fingerprint on one particular memory because there's a culmination of great memories with Van. He, uh, he was always very encouraging. When I was uh, feeling troubled early on in my walk, he always found a way to encourage me. He would always point me toward a particular part of scripture or a book that elaborated on what I may be going through or something that would help me. Uh, so I love the that Van invests in people the way he does and shows people grace uh, the way he does and um, makes you feel not like just a congregant, but like a family, like like a part of a family. He, he was very much like a father figure to me uh, in my growth, very instrumental in my growth. Uh, everything that he ever got me involved in, I was like, you know, he believed in me more than I believed in myself. And uh, that's some of, the, some of the most wonderful things that I have remembered about Van throughout these years. And, and he has been a tremendous part of my personal growth um, and uh, my knowledge of scripture and um, any leadership that I've done has been because of Van's encouragement and his really kind of pushing me in that direction. So uh, just very grateful for Van. I can't say enough about uh, what he's meant to me and Catherine as well. Just, just a wonderful person. I know that she's been super supportive of him and is a big part of his uh, success uh, in ministry here and in the community. I'm just thankful for him because they're both so loving, uh, gracious, and uh, kind to all. They're a brother and a sister to all that's here at the church. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are, if you've been here for forever, or if you've just came in, they're ones that are, uh, that are so welcoming and uh, they love us uh, unconditionally. And I'm just thankful for their consistency in that. I'm thankful for their consistency in ministry. 30 years is a long time to be pastoring in the same church. Uh, I'm just so thankful that for the last 18 years, Phil and I have been able to sit under uh, their ministry and uh, his teaching. Um, love the laughter and the times that we've spent together. Love the, uh, just the encouragement, no matter what they were going through, they were always there to encourage you. So we love you, Van and Catherine, and we're Sweet. so happy for y'all to be able to be reaching this major milestone in y'all's life of retirement. God bless you both. Hi, Van and Catherine. Um, this uh, video is a little bittersweet, right? Because I'm so um, full of joy that I get to make it for you, but um, I am uh, sad that this chapter is ending, but a new one is beginning. Um, I wanna say um, thank you. This video is quite insufficient to really um, say all the things that I'm grateful for, um, but I started attending Calvary uh, right before my junior year in high school and my family had travel to different churches and this was the one where we just felt like it was home and that's because of you all you you loved us and you cared for us in so many ways um, and you know that has continued and now I get to share that with my family so um, thank you um, for everything that you've taught me and all the ways that you've loved me I'm Pastor Van and Kath and I just want to say you know just thank you for the last uh, nine years that I've been uh, attending here, you know, coming here from a, a new church. And I guess you could kind of say I was married into this church. Uh, there is a little of, you know, I hope this is going to go well. And um, those... in the church or the marriage? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, those fears uh, quickly subsided um, after I got to hear you preach several times. And mm -hmm. I just really like the way you preach, um, especially preaching from the word. 
um, and I could tell that immediately that that's what it, it meant. You, you know, you were going to preach from the word and not alter uh, the Bible, but also how you talk. Um, I, I really enjoy the, the if you want to call them pop culture references that you add into your sermons. Um, I really enjoyed the the sermons that you the tough sermons that you that you took on um, and knew that they were things that needed to be preached about that you don't typically hear in most churches. Um, I, I've really just enjoyed getting to know you these last several years. So thank you. Bye. Lynn and Catherine Morris, two great people. About 10 years ago, my husband Pat and I were looking for a new church and we looked at several around this area but couldn't find any that really called to us. We stopped at Calvary and uh, with another friend and listened to the, the message and the singing all done by man and we were hooked. This was our home church and we're thankful for that. Uh, you know, one thing I think about Van is when I first started going, uh, sometimes I would think he was talking directly to me. And I thought, oh my goodness, um, he knows my past. But as I kept coming and talked to other people, everybody said the same thing. He knows what I've done in the past and he's trying to correct me. But really it was God giving him the words to help each individual work on themselves and get closer to God. And for that, I'm so thankful. Um, another thing uh, that I really, really like about um, Brother Van is his passion for reading. He's always uh, bringing great world examples, real life examples into his messages that we can uh, understand and apply to the biblical passages that he is teaching us. And I think that's so important as well. He also has a great sense of humor. Uh, he's uh, very compassionate and very humble. And uh, I know he is also very generous. When um, my husband volunteers for the Red Cross Drive, he'll come home with a great big fat pizza belly because Van gets pizza for all the volunteers, but he's also uh, usually got a few little stories that he and Van have shared, and, and I think that's really important for a pastor as well. So thank you, Van. Um, we just uh, really appreciate you. And as they say, um, behind every great man is a great woman. Catherine is the sweetest, most caring person I think you could ever find. Um, she will never stop to help someone. If someone comes to her, she will do her utmost to help them herself. And if she can't, she will try and find others who can meet their needs. Uh, she uh, has the best laugh ever, um, and she does that quite frequently. And she has the best hugs ever too, and she's very generous with both of those. And I know that um, she uses her past because she didn't have the perfect life. No one does, but she was had a far from perfect life. But she uses that to help other people. And uh, she tells them about how Jesus helped her and how Jesus can help them. So she has her own ministry right alongside her husband. And we appreciate her as well too. Thank you, Catherine. And lastly, thank you both for your musical gifts. We love your singing, you and uh, both of you and Candy, one, two, or all three of you, you're fantastic. And it's just wonderful that you have shared that with all of us. So I thank you for that as well. And um, I thank God that he led us to Calvary twice, once to the cross, and wants to hear at Calvary Christian as our home. We love you and we thank you. I remember two years ago, roughly when we first started attending, Pastor Van was preaching and um, it was our first time ever coming here. We came in and um, we heard a sermon on Job and I just 
right away fell in love with uh, the way that Pastor Van preached the word. He uh, didn't mince words, um, very winsome um, in his preaching, but he, he doesn't mince words and he doesn't sugarcoat things. And um, he just preaches the truth. And, uh, and I could tell right away that we just shared that heart um, to bring the truth to people and uh, let, let the Lord uh, do what he wishes with that. And so that's something that really just drew us uh, into Calvary right away. Um, and then since then, uh, just hearing his preaching uh, week in, week out, and um, just his wisdom and his counsel uh, when we sought that, um, he's not one to want to push you in any certain direction, um, but he'll certainly lend you his his um, experience and his and his wisdom, and um, and pray for you, and that's what he's done for us. And so um, we've only been here a couple years. I know a lot of people here have been here uh, a long, long time, and um, certainly Pastor Van has. Um, but that has been our couple things that we would just. Uh, share with our short time here. We really love you, Pastor, and uh, we're so thankful for your ministry here. And we're thankful that even though that ministry is chapters coming to a close, you will still be attending here so we can um, still be together and fellowship with one another and love one another. So thank you, and, and God bless you and your wonderful family. One. Hi, uh, Pastor Van and, and Kathy. Uh, just want to say thank you and congrats on many years of service to the church. Um, my family and I are, are here in large part to you. Um, when we were looking at churches a couple of years ago, um, landed at Calvary and, and um, your warmness and authenticity and hospitality showed right through at the very beginning and uh, kept us coming back. and. Um, your leadership uh, and, and stewardness uh, shine through uh, as, as we uh, have spent the last two years here. Um, uh, you know, lively worships, um, and just a warming nature to the church. And I think that's in large part to your, uh, your leadership and, and again, your, your stewardness and just can't thank you enough. And been uh, so thankful to be here the past two years. And um, I'd say uh, I'd, that we miss you, uh, but I think you're sticking around. So I'll just say congrats again and, and thank you so much.